Hungary is a small country in the heart of Europe, cherishing a history of a thousand years. Its capital is Budapest, one of the most exquisitely set cities of the continent. There's a magnificent view from Gellert Hill overlooking the Royal Castle and the River Danube, the bridges and the vast quantity of houses on the Pest Bank. The current face of the city was formed at the turn of the 19th and 20th centuries. The most significant buildings determining the look of the city were constructed then, and the Millennium Monument on Heroes Square was also erected at that time. In the Museum of Fine Arts, masterpieces of Goya, Cezanne, Rembrandt, Raphael, and Titian are exhibited among others. Vajdahunyad Castle was designed using the architectural elements of Hungarian castles and palaces. It's surrounded by a small lake that serves as an ice skating rink in winter. Budapest can also be regarded as the city of baths. One of its most marvelous spa baths and swimming pools is the Széchenyi Bath, also situated in City Park. The National Museum is the first and largest public collection of the country. The heart of the inner city is British Marty Square near the Danube Promenade. The famous promenade streets such as Petrovi Sándor Street and Vatsi Street start from here. The Neo-Gothic Palace of the Houses of Parliament is the most grandiose edifice of the country. Tourists can visit it only in groups with a guide. The Gellert Spa Bath and Hotel has elegant covered thermal pools. From its outdoor swimming pools, however, there's a splendid view of the Statue of Liberty. On the initiative of Istvan Széchenyi, the first and most beautiful bridge over the Danube was constructed by Adam Clark. The funicular, named after him, takes passengers up to the castle district. St. Matthew's Church, dating back to the 13th century, is one of the most significant monuments of the country. It was the site of coronations, wedding ceremonies, and funerals. Its crypt shelters the remains of the royal tombs of Sekesh Fahirbar. The square behind the church is closed by the Fisherman's Bastion, a system of walls and bastions with towers resembling the courtyards of medieval monasteries. The former royal castle and palace was built on a 170 meter high and 1.5 kilometer long hill parallel to the Danube River. The monumental group of palaces was constructed under the reigns of King Sigmund and King Matthew in a style mixing the elements of the Gothic and Renaissance periods. Today, it serves cultural purposes. The National Gallery, the Seychenyi Library, and the Castle Museum operate here. Leaving Budapest in a northerly direction, the Buda Hills are left behind, and the higher spurs of the Pilish and Visegrad Mountains come into sight. The Danube River twists and turns in between romantic small towns located on its banks. Abundant in natural beauties, this land is called the Danube Bend. Its southern gate, Santandra, is a charming little town of Mediterranean atmosphere with winding streets, narrow passages, and pleasant squares. This picturesque town has inspired a lot of artists. Several painters and sculptors lived and still live here today. There are a lot of museums and galleries, and gift shops, of course, as Santandra is crowded with tourists all year round. The triangular main square is surrounded by Baroque, Rococo, and Louis XIV style houses with shops, restaurants, and cafes inside. The Memorial Cross and the Greek Orthodox Church commemorate the Serbian, Dalmatian, and Greek tradesmen who sought refuge here in stormy times of history.
numerous restaurants attract us to taste the specialties of the Hungarian cuisine. A Catholic parish church rises above Santander on top of Castle Hill. We can take a look at the Danube and the Isle of Santander from here. A very popular site of the area is the Open Air Ethnographic Museum. The unique beauty of the Danube Bend is best visible from Visegrad. Besides Santander, this is one of the most popular destinations of day trippers from Budapest. It can be approached just as easily by boat from the capital. The main road runs under the gate of the fortress system of the former royal seat. The hexagonal residential tower of the lower fort is called Solomon Tower. According to legend, King Solomon was kept prisoner here. It used to be a custom station, now it serves as a museum and lookout tower. A host of kings had work done on the palace, but its golden age was under the reign of King Matthew. the red marble Hercules well, and the white alabaster fountain with lions have already been restored to their original beauty. The palace was buried by a landslide in the 17th century. It was rediscovered only in 1934 and preserved for the future. At present, it is being reconstructed with meticulous care. The time might come when there will be wine spouting from these fountains, as it used to be in the court of King Matthew, according to history tellers. The citadel was an integral part of the palace. It was surrounded by several irregularly shaped circles of walls and a moat. The courtyards were built in an east-west direction, all guarded by watchtowers. There are narrow gates and drawbridges leading to the inner fortress from where terraces overlook the Danube River. Estergom is located on the east-west bank of the Danube Bend and is connected to Slovakia by a recently reconstructed bridge. At the time of the establishment of the state, it was the capital of the country and has always been a religious center. The sanctuary of the cathedral standing on Castle Hill faces the Danube, while the colonnade of the entrance has a view of the slightly sloping St. Stephen's Square. Its 100-meter-high dome is supported by 24 pillars. The fort and palace of the kings of the Arpad House in Estergom is the oldest stone fortification of the country. It opened at the same time as the palace in Visegrad. Part of the walls and bastions of the fort can still be seen today. The hills of Gödöllő used to be a royal hunting territory. The Grasakovich family's hunting seat built here was the summer residence of Emperor Franz Josef and his queen Sissy from 1867. Now, there's a museum in operation in the 26 halls of the palace that has recently been restored to its original splendor. The interior, furniture, Painters and personal belongings of the period commemorate the souverain couple, but especially the adored queen of the Hungarians. All tapestries, wall tiles, and stoves were reproduced based on the originals.
there's a pleasant cafe in the castle. Each summer, concerts and cultural events are held in the building and its exquisite park. The main attraction of Jambeg, situated in a magnificent natural environment not far from Budapest, is the church built by the monastic order of Premont in the 13th century. The majestic cathedral with its splendid interior is perhaps even more impressive in its present run-down form than if it were in an unharmed state. The bronze sculpture of the Turo bird, erected in honor of the millennium, rises above the motorway, connecting Budapest and Vienna. The Gothic tower of the old castle in Tata is reflected on the surface of the big lake in a picturesque fashion. The castle was originally built with a tower on each of its four corners under the reign of King Sigmund. Life in the royal court was luxurious. Foreign princes, ministers, and artists often visited here. Under King Matthew, it served as a hunting lodge. But not only the castle is worth visiting in Tata, as a holiday resort abundant in water, the town is an ideal place for a longer vacation with its several hundred karst springs, water mills, and lakes. Approximately halfway down the motorway, from Budapest to Lake Balaton, Lake Valence is located. Vesprem is an episcopal seat and a university town, rich in monuments and historical records located between the Bakoin Hills and the uplands of Balaton. Even the first Hungarian king, St. Stephen, and his wife, Queen Gisela, preferred to stay here. The coronation robe was prepared by the nuns of the Vesprem Monastery. The current form of the Vesprem castle, consisting of an outer and an inner fort, was constructed in the Renaissance period. It was occupied by the Turkish with the help of a plot and was under their rule for 12 years. Most of the houses in the old town were built in the middle of the 1700s, following the end of the fights of the Hungarian insurrectionists against Austrian rule, when the town started to flourish once again. The Baroque edifice of the town hall and the watchtower originate from that time. From the neighborhood of the twin-towered Roman age St. Michael Cathedral situated in the castle, we can see Calvary Hill and the viaduct. The viaduct bending over the Shade Stream, the current of which used to drive water mills, was constructed in 1938 and has since become the symbol of Vesprem. The cathedral and monastery of Pannonhalma, cherishing a thousand years of history, offers an unbelievably immense quantity of sites in the area of architecture and fine arts. The group of buildings was constructed on top of the 282 meter high Castle Hill and was founded by Prince Geza. The peace talks putting an end to the fights between the pontificate and the German Roman Empire were held here at Christmas time in the year 1091. Ladislas I held sessions of parliament here. In Turkish times, the edifice was fortified and became part of the border fortress system. The 320,000 volumes of the library are stored in carved cherry wood cabinets. The codices of Pannonhalma and the original foundation deed of the Tihan Abbasy, regarded as the first Hungarian linguistic record, are kept here, besides 230 pieces of ancient prints and numerous other rarities. The collection of metals, seals, and engravings is also significant, not to mention the picture gallery. The significant role of Pannonhalma in religious education dates back to the reign of Stephen I, who entrusted Bishop Gellert with the upbringing of his son, Prince Emery. According to legend, St. Martin was born here. Being extremely modest, he hid among the geese from the Pope's messengers, who came with the intention of appointing him bishop. The gaggling of the geese gave him away. In honor of him, we traditionally have goose on St. Martin's Day in November. The church is 50 meters long with three aisles and 11 altars. The windows are decorated by the marvelous mosaics of Miksha Rot. The organ with 3,000 pipes is most impressive.
The church was renovated by Ferenc Storno, the most famous restorer of the period. It was originally built in a mixture of Roman and Gothic styles and consecrated in 1001. The one and only unharmed courtyard of Hungary, decorated with stone cuttings and beautiful glass windows, can be found here. Pannonhalma was rightly included on the list of UNESCO's World Heritage. Heren, the biggest porcelain manufacturer in the world, looks back on a past of 175 years. There's a museum in one of the wings of the factory, but the new building has been designed and constructed especially for tourists visiting here. It consists of a shop, a cafe, a restaurant, and a factory of miniature size where we can easily follow the process of porcelain production step by step. The individual figures are cast in plaster molds. The cylinder-shaped figures, faces and plates are produced on a wheel. Molds of steel are often used here. In the next hall, porcelain flowers are produced. and basket weaving is done with great manual skill. The ornaments of the so-called breakthrough method are also done here. The most spectacular process is the painting. The light touches of the brush and various colors make the pen and ink drawings, which are as delicate as etched engravings, look splendid. Several methods and styles of painting, a thousand different colors, three thousand patterns, and approximately fifteen thousand molds are used. One of the wings of the magnificently renovated factory is a museum today. The statue of the founder, Moor Farkoshazi Fischer, stands here. The former combustion furnace is a historic industrial monument. We can buy head and products in the Victoria shop. And have lunch afterwards in the Apitsius restaurant where naturally all the tables are laid with head and porcelain. The part of Chopron which has the most monuments is the characteristically horseshoe-shaped inner city formerly surrounded by town walls. The main square, sheltering architectural memories from past centuries, provides a harmonious picture, just as the helmeted Baroque watchtower with its Romanesque foundation and Renaissance interior also looks very homogenous. From the balcony of the 61-meter-high tower, a guard used to watch out for the approaching enemy or the possible outbreaks of fire. One of the most exquisite Baroque houses of Chopron is the Storno House with its double facades decorated with a semicircular corner balcony. The picture collection of the famous restorer and art collector Ferenc Storno is exhibited inside. Each and every house of the square is a cherished monument. The House of the Angel Pharmacy, the Gambrinus Restaurant, the Town Hall, and the Fabrizius House. 
The Goat Church, with its peculiar name and a Baroque sculpture of the Holy Trinity in front, was the site of Parliament sittings and coronation ceremonies. The arched gateways and courtyards of old buildings cherish the memories of famous personalities. Ferenc Liszt gave concerts here. The great Hungarian poet Petöfi served as a soldier. King Matthew lived here. Count Széchenyi was a guest, and Johann Strauss composed music here while he was on honeymoon. The famous Roman Amber Road ran through Chopron, some parts of which have been successfully excavated. Chopron is a wine region noted especially for its red wines, but its breweries are also excellent. The quaint small town Kürseg is located not far from Chopron, near the Austrian border. It's Hungary's highest situated town with a pleasant subalpine atmosphere. The Jurisch Square still shows a medieval face. There's no trace of the former moat and drawbridge, but the old square unfolds itself as if in a frame under the arches of the heroic portal. There are two churches here, one named after St. Emery and the other one after St. Jacob. The cannonballs that remained in the walls of the castle are proof of battles fought a long time ago. It was here where Miklos Jurich, the captain of the fort, forced back the army of Shulaman II of a hundred thousand soldiers marching against Vienna. The small settlement of Fertud became famous throughout Europe because of the castle of the Festicic family. Lord Miklos Esterhazy, who admired Versailles and Schönbrunn, had his own castle built here as a synthesis of those palaces. We can enter the magnificent U-shaped courtyard surrounded by buildings through the forged three-fold gate harmonizing with the handrails and the lamps of the edifice. There are 126 rooms in the symmetrically arranged palace, and most of them can be visited. The notable picture gallery, including Raphael's Esterhazy Madonna, can be seen in the Museum of Fine Arts in Budapest. The furniture, stoves, and decorative objects remained here, however, ornamenting the interior of the palace. The famous varnished Chinese rooms, the royal suite, and the two-story music hall where Haydn gave concerts while living here are all situated in the palace. Havies is located at the western corner of Lake Balaton, six kilometers from Keste. Its attraction is the Thermal Water Lake with a surface of 47,500 square meters, the largest one in Europe. Its source, situated in a 36 meter deep funnel, provides 86 million liters of water every day. The temperature of the water is 33-34 degrees Celsius in summer and 23-26 to 26 degrees Celsius in winter. The thermal water is effective in healing arthritis, problems of the spine, and other illnesses of the motoric system. The pools, with their characteristic towers and a dome made of glass built in the middle, facilitate bathing even in winter. The typical plant of the lake is the splendid nymphia, with large red and white flowers floating on the surface. The lake's characteristic animal is the nice water bird, the common coot. The town of Topolza is located in the area in a gorgeous natural environment. Its attractions are the Cage Lake and the Lake of the Mill with romantic old buildings and a well-groomed park surrounding it. The 
most significant fortification of the region between the Bokoy Mountains and the uplands of Balaton is that of Nodjvajon. The fort belonged to Pal Kiniji, King Matthew's loyal and vigorous commander, who was the captain here for 22 years. Kiniji was the commander of the famous Black Army and was given the fort of Vajoin as a reward for his heroic deeds in battle. He was buried in the castle, which is one of the most spectacular and intact fortifications of Hungary. Its residential tower, wolf trap, interior wall with corner tower, fortified gate, and square courtyard with a wooden pool create an extraordinary sight. There are tournaments held here in summer with battles fought on foot or horseback by actors dressed in period costumes. They impersonate King Matthew and Queen Beatrix, Paul Kinishi, and his wife, Beninja Magyar. Lake Balaton is the largest shallow watered lake of Europe with several beaches on its shore. The twin-towered Baroque Abbey, noted for its organ concerts, was built on the highest point of the peninsula reaching into the lake. Tihon is one of the most popular holiday resorts of the Balaton region. The noble town of Balaton Füred became famous for its spa water and hospital specialized in diseases of the heart. The shallow waters of the 72 kilometer long lake, which is suitable for swimming, water sports and fishing, warm up to as much as 28 degrees Celsius in summer. Geofolk is the capital of the southern shore, a busy holiday resort with bustling life, grand hotels, and a lively nightlife. There's the most marvelous panorama of Lake Balaton from the hill above the landhouse of Zamardi, since it's right opposite the Tihan Peninsula. Between Santod and Zamardi, the width of the lake is only four kilometers. The ferry here saves travelers a lot of time when heading for the opposite shore. Full of flowers, Balaton Fulvar is one of the most beautiful towns of the Balaton region, which is no wonder as it's the only one originally built as a real holiday resort. Pigeon Island and the two-armed mole make its enormous ship and yacht harbor the most exquisite one on Lake Balaton. Balaton Boglar is noted not only for its excellent wines, but also for the special spherical lookout tower visible from a great distance. When weather is nice, the hills of the northern shore can be seen from here. One of the biggest lidos of the southern shore, Sycamore Beach, is located here. The narrow-gauge small railway of Balaton Fenvesh takes its passengers to the untouched territories of Inner Shomoy. Keste is the largest town of the Balaton region. Thousands of tourists are attracted by the Festetich Palace, situated here. The aristocratic building, standing in a park of 72 acres, was constructed in the middle of the 1700s. There are more than 50,000 volumes in the Empire-style library. All rooms of the palace serve cultural purposes. There are concerts held in the gorgeous Great Mirror Hall and in the park in summer.
The castle of Sigliget, though in ruins, is one of the most romantic sites of the Lake District. Glancing out of the fort, we can see gentle hills and mountains, called a heartwarming region by a poet. The basalt mountain of Bodichoin has a characteristic shape, and the picturesque settlements lying at its feet have attracted tourists for a long time, which is also due to the famous wines of Bodichoin. Even as early as one and a half centuries ago, great representatives of Hungarian culture preferred building press houses and cottages here. Naturally, the greatest festival is the harvest here, and its closing is celebrated by a harvest march and a party until late in the night. This colorful whirling drift of the early autumn attracts more and more visitors from around the world year by year. Not far from the southern bank of Lake Balaton, in one of the deserted corners of Shomorgland, all elements of popular architecture, folk costumes, traditions, and popular art have been collected that are worth preserving. This is the open-air village museum of Senna, awarded with the Europe Nostra Prize, built around the church still in operation today. Pécs and surroundings are called the Hungarian Mediterranean because of its favorable location. On the slopes of the Mecek Mountains, both grapes and figs grow. The heart of the city is the former marketplace, the Széchenyi Square, where 12 streets converge. The look of the square is determined by the 28-meter-high, green-domed Muslim main mosque, the Jami of Pasha Ghazi Kasim. This city was formed out of the Gothic parish church of St. Bartholomew, following the beginning of Turkish occupation. Almost all houses surrounding the square are art memorials. A couple of steps from the town hall is the Jolnai fountain, glittering with greenish light. It was manufactured in the famous ceramic factory of Page. Northwest of Seychenyi Square, behind the shady trees of the Promenade Square with its cafes and beer cellars, is one of Hungary's most valuable monuments, the Four-Towered Cathedral. Its construction was initiated by Stephen I. Its crypt, three aisles, and two of its towers were built in the 11th century. The other pair of towers date from one century later, but some parts of it were constructed even in 1854. It was in the square in front of the cathedral where the sensational archaeological findings, immediately declared part of the World Heritage by UNESCO, were excavated. Page was called Sopiana in the Roman age, and this old Christian graveyard is the largest and most significant among necropolis found outside Italy today. The elegant Palatinus Hotel is situated in the Promenade Street, which begins near Town Hall, and the National Theatre of Page is a couple of steps away in the opposite direction. The street is lined with houses of the 18th and 19th centuries in Baroque and Romantic style and that of Louis XIV. The town of Siklos lies to the south of Page, at the feet of the Vilany Mountains. The border castle guarding the flatlands of the Drava River used to be the residence of the most significant noble families of the Middle Ages. Miklos Garai, Hungarian Palatine, kept King Sigmund prisoner here for five months in 1401. 
The entrance next to the gate, fortified with a tower, opens into a forecourt surrounded by a protective closed passage. The two-story fortress, the prison, and the chapel stand in the inner courtyard. Kalocha, established on the marshy land between the old branches of the Danube River, can take pride in two things. The popular embroidery of Kalocha, tablecloths, aprons, and blouses made here with traditional colors and patterns are known and recognized throughout the entire world. Most of the country's paprika production comes from Kalocha and its region. Following the harvest, garlands of red peppers are hung out to dry on each house. The spice itself is obtained by grinding the dry peppers and it's classified on the basis of its spiciness. Where else should the festival of food, seasoned with paprika, be held other than here? The various paprika spice dishes, mainly cooked in big traditional kettles, are judged by a jury of chefs. Mezukovesht is the center of Matyo country that has achieved its reputation nationwide, or even all around Europe, by its folk art, but especially its embroideries. The Matyo ethnic group has clung strongly to their peasant traditions, the most conspicuous form of which is their individual folk art. Their folk costumes differ from those of other Hungarian ethnic groups in many respects. They've been decorating their bedding and tablecloths with their characteristic patterns since the 19th century. Located on the southern part of the Great Plains, Szeged is an economic and cultural center with a rich past. The current structure of the city was formed after the Great Flood of 1879. Each summer, the open-air festival of Szeged is held in the square in front of the twin-towered neo-Romanesque style cathedral of the city center. The beautifully proportioned cathedral is one of the most grandiose churches in Hungary. Its towers are 93 meters high. The center of the inner city is Széchenyi Square, covering an area of more than 50,000 square meters. Almost all surrounding houses are significant in terms of cultural history. It would be impossible to list the names of statesmen, writers, and artists who are somehow related to Szeged. Miksat, Jokai, Gárdonyi, Adi, and Radnoti all visited here. The inner city of Szeged, where the universities are located, is connected with the new districts by a bridge spanning the Tisza River. According to the Chronicles of Anonymous, the conquering Hungarian tribes held their first assembly on the site of the present Opus de Ser in 896. The place has since been declared a National Historical Memorial Park. The romantic panorama painting of Arpad Festi portraying the arrival of the Hungarian tribes into the Carpathian Basin has received a deserving place here. Viewing the picture is most interesting because of its diorama effect, which is heightened by various light and sound effects.
rafts, and fishing equipment of the Tisa region are exhibited on the shore of the Little Lake. A unique open-air village museum has been established in the park. In the museum, preserving the characteristic architecture of the region, we can find a completely furnished school, a village pub, a post office, a coach house, a well, typical of the Great Plains, an operating grocery store, and a water mill, all originating from the last century. Next to the Arpad Monument, the foundation walls of a monastery have been excavated. Ancient Hungarian mounted archers are commemorated by live shows. For decades, thousands of tourists have come to Hortobágy to see the plains, the typical wells of the region, the gray oxen, the horsemen, the cattle herdsmen, and the studs. Part of the exhibition area of the National Park can be visited on horseback, by horse carriage or by bicycle, and even sightseeing flights can be arranged. This natural reserve of 81,000 acres is Hungary's largest national park and natural reserve and has been part of the UNESCO World Heritage since 1999. Its main attraction is its special flora and fauna. The traditional center of Hortobágy was formed at the crossing point of the railway, the road, and the river Hortobágy. Obviously, there's always been a village inn here. In the tavern, we can taste the food and wines of the Great Plains. We can take a look at the Shepherd Museum, the Land House, and exhibitions in the vicinity. The characteristic nine-hole bridge was constructed in 1827 on the site of former wooden bridges. With its length of 167 meters, it's the longest vehicular stone bridge of the country. It's worth visiting Hortobaj for the horse days in July and the bridge fair in August. Debrecen is the third largest city of Hungary, the center of the territory east of the Tisza River. The main church is the largest building of the Calvinist church in Hungary, built at the beginning of the 19th century. The first parliament following the end of the Second World War in 1945 assembled here. The long square in front of the church has become a pedestrian zone with its ornamented pavement and fountains. The Phoenix Fountain is the most splendid. Hotel Aranbika is regarded as one of the biggest and most famous hotels of the countryside and is all the more interesting as it was designed by Alfred Hajos, the first Hungarian Olympic champion swimmer. There's a most spectacular flower carnival held here each August.
Not far from the wine district of the Tokai Mountains, on the banks of the Bodrog River, the fortified castle of Sharosh Potok was constructed. The castle that played a truly important role in Hungarian history was built by the Perény family, then became the possession of the Rákóczi family for almost a century. We can still see the balcony from where, according to legend, Balint Balashi, the poet of the border fortresses, eloped with his lover, Kristina Dobo, the granddaughter of the captain of Eger's border fortress. Zsuzsana Lorantvi had the Renaissance-style loggia constructed that connects the building of the castle with the Red Tower, once the residential tower of the fort. Besides the vaulted stories of the tower, the night hall, the cannon terrace, the fireplaces, and the Renaissance wood carvings, the castle is famous for its kitchen, the semicircular Lorantvi balcony, and the Sub Rosa Hall. The library, with its original furniture, is most exquisite. From the top of the Red Tower, we can take delight in one of the most attractive landscapes of the country. The leafy boughs of tall poplars and white stem birch trees reflect on the surface of the Bodrog River, with old towers, stocky bastions, and balconies in between them. The dark line of the willows of the Tisa River is visible beyond the marshy land of the Bodrog Inlands. The thermal spring spouting at the feet of the Buk Mountains supplies spa water for both the pools of the 50,000 square meter baths of Mishkots Topolca as well as for the famous cave bath located right next to it. This unique natural cave bath provides an unparalleled experience of real rejuvenation. Its water with iodine, bromine, and potassium content, coupled with the crystal clear sterile moist air is effective in healing arthritis, problems of the heart and circulatory system. Lila Fürad is the most famous holiday resort of the Buk Mountains. The forest railway was originally built to transport wood after World War I. Its commercial significance has gradually decreased and it's been used for public transportation since 1990. Lake Hamori was created by damming the Garadna stream in 1813 in order to supply the iron furnaces of Hamor with water. The magnificent eclectic style Palota Hotel was constructed on the shore of the lake at the end of the 1920s. The Anan Istvan caves are situated in the walls of the hotel's hanging garden and in the vicinity of the Sinva Falls. The 1,014-meter-high Kekesh tattoo is the highest point of the country. From the lookout tower built on top of the Buk Mountains in the year 2000, it's easy to look over the popular holiday resort, Silvashvarad, and the whole of Solaika Valley. There's a small railway in the Romantic Valley. Trout are bred in the fish lakes, and the stud farm is famous for its Lipica horses, and there are horse cart riding world championships held here on the racetrack. As in Lila Fured, this railway used to carry wood too. It's been transporting only tourists since 1967 from the racetrack to the Fatio Falls, five kilometers away. The limestone stairs of the Fatio Falls were created by nature itself. Rain and snow, together with the oxygen of the air, created carbonic acid and dissolved the lime. Next to the spring, there's a path leading to the cave of Ishtaloshku. 30,000-year-old tools made of stone and bones were found in the cave of prehistoric man, excavated in 1911. Eger is noted for its Turkish bath and spa. But it's mainly the monuments, the atmosphere of the town, and the wine that attract visitors. To such an extent that it's become one of the most popular destinations of foreign tourists recently. The famous 14-angled slim tower, the Minaret of Eger, is one of the monuments of the country dating back to Turkish occupation, and it's remained almost unharmed. There's a narrow spiral staircase of 97 stairs leading to its circular balcony from where the Muzin, the Muslim crier, announced the glory of Allah. 
the narrow streets are lined almost exclusively by monumental houses, giving the inner town a unique atmosphere. The famous forged gates of the county hall were made by the German Henrik Fazola who settled here. The main gate is decorated by the allegories of truth, faith, and hope. The right gate by the coats of arms of the country, the county, and the bishop, while the left one is ornamented by grapevines and the leaves of grapes. There are two grandiose buildings standing opposite each other. The Cathedral of Eger, which is the third largest church of the country, and a secondary school for girls. The pedestrian zone, starting from here, is lined with shops and restaurants. The famous Dobo Confectionery is also located here. Eger Stream runs through the town. It divides the small Dobo Square, operating as a large Mediterranean-style restaurant with terrace in summer, from the Dobo Square. The heart of the city is the former marketplace, the current Dobo Square. The group of statues commemorating the fighters of the border fortresses is situated in front of the town hall. While on the north side of the square stands the statue of Istvan Dobo with the castle behind. The gate of the castle isn't far from here. The fortified castle of Eger became more famous than the other border fortresses owing to the famous novel of Geza Gardoni, The Stars of Eger, which has been translated into several languages. The novel is about the Turkish siege of the year 1552, when Captain Istvan Dobo of the fort and Gerge Bornemissa forced back Sultan Shulmain's army of 150,000 soldiers with the help of less than 2,000 defenders of the fortress. Following the Battle of Mohac, the castle fell from the possession of the bishops into the hands of Peter Pereni. Construction on the Gothic cathedral ceased. Some finished parts of it, however, can still be seen today. The soft ground under the town is of volcanic origin. Due to this, it's easy to dig holes and cellars in it. The characteristic of the ground was made use of not only by winemakers, but also by fort builders, who cut a several kilometer long connected system of cellars under the castle and the town. Over the centuries, a lot of it has collapsed. The parts under the streets were buried. Those under private houses were blocked. It's impossible to reveal the basic plan of the cellar system today, but its part under the castle has been made suitable for visiting. There are vaulted rooms, barracks, a cannon hall, corridors for tunnel watches, and cisterns to be seen underground. The cellar of the old hospital offers delicious wines of Eger to the tourist, exhausted from his visit to the castle. We can pay our respects in front of the red marble tomb of Istvan Dobo in the Hall of Heroes. There are period costumes and arms exhibited in the Castle Museum together with the model of the notable siege. Geza Gardoni, the novelist who eternalized Eger, is buried here. For a pleasant glass of wine in the evening, it's worth visiting the Seipasson Road, the Valley of the Beautiful Lady, where there are wine cellars built right next to each other on the hillside, just like the Grinzing of Vienna. 
Besides having a good meal, we can taste the white little girl of Agar or the famous red bull's blood. Life is the busiest here during harvest. <laughs> The castle of Holoku rises almost 400 meters above the village. From its pentagonal-shaped old tower, we can glance over the natural reserve area, the hills of Cherhat, and the Ipoi River Valley. The road runs between twisting castle walls to the inner castle, which has three stories in some places. According to legend, the devil's sons took the stones of the castle away in the shape of ravens, which is why the village is called Ravenstone. In reality, the fortress was built in the 18th century. King Charles Robert confiscated it from its owners and bestowed it on one of the loyal men. It was in the hands of the Turks between 1552 and 1683. The settlement lying in the valley is Hungary's most unique village. It's a living museum. The 65 protected houses of its old part shelter the masterpieces of Polot's popular architecture from the 17th century. The characteristics of the houses here are the porches, the board banisters, and the special roofs. Poloku is the only village of Hungary that is part of the world heritage, together with its entire surroundings of 141 acres.